Good afternoon from the quilting quarters at Quiltville Inn, where I just stopped by to <laughs> admire and feel the heat coming out of this uh, Mitsubishi split unit that we've installed into the quilting quarters. It's got a remote. This is awesome. This house is 135 years old, and this is the first time it has had electric heat and air conditioning coming from these lovely units. Um, in that 135 years, our main goal is comfort for the quilters that come stay with me. So we are installing heat and air so that they can sew in comfort. The rooms are pretty much um, a mess right now because we've been moving stuff for um, the construction workers that have come. But what I've also got is instant fireplace here so that they can sew to the ambiance that they desire. So all you gotta do is hold it on and the flame comes up. There we go. So not only can they have air conditioning in the summer and electric heat in the winter, but they've also got the ambience of a gas fireplace. And nobody has to get on their knees to um, <laughs> turn it up or turn it down. So those are some things that are happening in here. Also, we have replaced 31 windows with brand new windows that look old. All the molding is original to the house. Um, they were able to salvage just about everything. The curtains will be rehung after we have uh, painted and put up design walls, but I sure really like the, the open window look that we've got here for um, the land outside. If I come across the hall through the French doors, I have a new replacement doorknob that actually works, hooray. There'll be more painting happening there. But we've also put one of those split Mitsubishi units here on the dining room wall. So there's heat and air conditioning in the dining room. This winter, this dining room was a total ice box. It was so cold in here because the only heat on this ground floor came from either the two fireplaces in the quilting quarters or the wood stove that's in the den. I suppose uh, there was also at one time a wood cook stove in the kitchen that would add heat to um, this house. But really, it has been a very, very cold winter, and that's why we went ahead and jumped the gun when we could. Windows were on sale. We replaced them all. In the den, you'll notice all the furniture is pushed aside because we've been busy rebuilding a new hearth for the wood stove that came with the house. It's a somewhat of a vintage stove. It's at least 25 years old. I'm not sure how old exactly or what the brand name is, but our insurance um, stated that, oh, that, that wood stove is too close to the chimney. You've got to move it at least 12 inches out. And then we need the hearth to be safe in uh, X number of inches away from all sides and the front. So this has brought the wood stove closer um, to me and further from the chimney, but the chimney has also been repainted with fire safe paint and we've got the ceiling fan installed above. So lots of things have happened here over the past couple of weeks that I've been gone. Here's a couple more of the new windows in here. So much more to come. All of these walls need repainting. So we have been removing nails and screws and filling with putty, you can see the yellow bit up there on the door lentil. That is also a wood filler to fill in some holes, and we're going to be painting trim. Um, I really like the light gray that is out here, so we may lighten up the dark gray with a bit lighter gray. If I come into the kitchen, you can see our third Mitsubishi split unit that's right there on the wall. This kitchen had zero heat, zero air conditioning, and it's got glass on three sides of the kitchen. So likely, yeah, this probably had a wood cook stove in here. Now it's gas, but it would be the wood cook stove that was likely one of the main heat sources for the kitchen. Yeah, we've got a lot of work going on here. You can see a lot of stuff piled on the counter. Stacks of boxes have new smoke alarms that are new and white and, and not all yellowed and old and grungy. We did keep 
the window in the kitchen with a stained glass because I, I love that window, but we've got a storm window that will go on the outside to help during the winter months and we won't have to put plastic film over it anymore. I'm really looking forward to welcoming quilters to Quiltville in this, excuse me, as soon as we start opening for reservations. Boy, I've got a dry tickle in my throat. <coughs> so sorry, I'm not re-recording this, but... <sighs> That view out there, we've definitely got spring happening. And I'm so excited about um, the possibility of quilters to enjoy the back porch and sit and stitch and talk to each other and form relationships. Have some sweet tea or some lemonade or perhaps an adult beverage. We've got that all covered over here as well for you. It's been months and months of working over the past year. It's getting closer. We have one year left to go. Things still remaining. Electrical work for the quilting quarters. We've got to bump up the power so that we have room for 12 machines and 12 irons. There's a wall here in the downstairs half bath. It's a huge half bath. We're going to bump out part of the wall and we're going to put in a, a walk-in shower in here. So we will have three functional walk-in showers. Nobody will have to climb into a, a tall clawfoot tub. Even though they're great to look at, they're not so great to climb in or out of when you are middle-aged and dripping wet. Um, I'm just very excited and, and can't wait to be able to open up this front door and let the quilters in. So those are the things that we've made progress on. There's still much more to come. Um, I hope you'll keep watching. We can't wait to welcome you. you no, know, I've got to unlock the door before I can come on out myself. Can't wait to welcome you to the porch and to our surrounding Blue Ridge Mountains. Spring feels so great. We'll catch you next time from Quiltville Inn.